Hi, YouTubers and WhatShavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Something new from Sheldon Quinn and Global Shave. Shave therapy system right here. That's right. When I first saw this, I thought, hey, travel bag, right? Good for travel, but uh, also good for travel, daily driver. This thing is perfect. Absolutely. Well, what is it? Well, the shave therapy system is three vials of various oils for your shave. You get a pre-shave oil, an inter-shave oil, and a post-shave oil. And these are used during various stages of your morning wet shave. So the pre-shave oil, obviously, before you do that first pass. The inter-shave is between passes, and of course the post-shave acts as an after-shave for you. Uh, and I'll tell you, this is really, really very nice. Comes in three vials like this, and I shall show you one of them right here. Very easy to use. It also comes with an instruction card right here. And the instructions read, uh, Shave Therapy System, wet your face before and after each application. To use, just invert the bottle against your palm. Step one, prepare and relax. That's the pre-shave. Step two, lubricate and detoxify. That's the inter-shave. Step three, repair and immunize. That's the post-shave. Uh, wellness and shave care together. So that's really, really neat. Looking forward to using this. And we're gonna, well, actually, we're gonna use it in the shave right now. And uh, I also have a sheet here regarding the shave therapy ingredients. The pre-shave has sunflower oil, olive oil, castor oil, vegetable glycerin, eucalyptus, essential oil, lime essential oil. Inner shave has pure virgin grapeseed oil, clove essential oil, lemon essential oil, the post-shave has cold-pressed fractionated coconut oil, tea tree oil, and peppermint oil. Wow, that's really a nice, complete list. We're going to shave with it. Uh, my shaving soap of choice is going to be Tabak. I have some hot water on top of that soap puck. I'm going to use my Razor Rock Chrome brush. For my razor, I'm going to use Global Shave's own ice razor. Nice, heavyweight. A little more aggressive than DE89 or the HD34C. If those rate about a two and a half, two, two and a half, this is a good solid three on a scale of one to five. Looking forward to that. I'm going to use a Gillette Wilkinson sword uh, razor blade. <laughs> I can get that there for you. There it is, Gillette Wilkinson sword blade. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to load that up right now just to take this off. Real nice blade balance and alignment. Really, like this razor a lot. Very, very nice. Beautifully plated, too. Uh, I'm going to finish up with my Shash Alum Block. And, of course, the post-shave oil here in the Shave Therapy Kit. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let me just take this out here. Here is my uh, pre-shave, which is step one. Here's my inter-shave, which is step two. And here is my post shave, which is step three. Now I anticipate two good passes, maybe three, depending on how this shave goes. Uh, but really, let's just wet the face and let's get going with it, okay? I'm gonna take my uh, hot water right here and I'm gonna just put it in there like that. I'm gonna use a little bit of that bloom water. All right, here we go. Okay, now the first step is pre-shave. And instructions say just Put it to the palm of your hand and invert it. And I'm gonna do it twice, ah, maybe three times like that. Get a good coating. It's right there. Oh yeah. Very nice scent. Very, very nice scent. And good coverage too. You only need a little bit. I would say three or four into the palm of the hand. I'm gonna do one more just to get it in there. Yeah, there it is, you can see it right there. Yeah. Okay, that's great. 
Let me get my brush right here, and there is some nice slickness on my hands, that's for sure. And boy, it feels nice, it really does. It feels really nice, kind of alive. I can feel a lot of those um, and, and get the scent of a lot of those oils. That's why I didn't go with the heavily scented shave soap, because I wanted to have those play on my senses here. So rinse that out, just bring that out just a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just load this brush and as you know, I like using a synthetic brush with shave soaps. And I load the brush just to about the point with a soap like this, just about the point where I start getting a nice, good, creamy yogurt consistency right there. It is dripping out a little bit because I'm showing it to you on camera, but I like to get it right to that point where it's a nice, creamy consistency, and then I know that, that I have a good load on my brush and enough for the lathering. Look at that, you can see. Yeah, yeah, that's ready to go. That's ready to go. I can paint it out, I can do a face lather. I'm gonna do a bit of a face lather here. Nice. And I'm able to paint that on. Boy, that's some nice lather. And the oil's not interfering with this either. That's nice. It's complementing it. Look at that, huh? How about that? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Rinse my hands off a little bit. We're all loaded up. Hot water, let's run it underneath there. Warm that up, heat that up, swirl in the sink there a little bit. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. There is uh, an increased level of slickness from that oil. No doubt, absolutely no doubt. Wow, that just glides across. Really nice. Boy, the weight of this razor really, really helps. Very nice. I've got a good day and a half worth of beard growth here. All right. Okay, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Wow. <laughs> that was nice. That was a really nice first pass. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cap back onto the pre-shave, and I'm going to get the inter-shave. My face is nice and wet, and that was a very, very good first pass. So we're going to go one, two, three is all I'm going to need here because, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's really spreading smoothly and evenly due to the additional water there. Just gonna work it in. Very nice. Very, very, wow. That's nice, that's really nice. Okay, got my brush here with some of that on there. I'm just gonna get a little bit of water on the tip there. And I'm gonna paint this on. To begin with. Cause I got so much in the brush and the flow through on these synthetic brushes is really nice. Look how much I have on this brush, huh? You know, oh, don't need to really do a lot of face lathering there. Look how much is there. Bingo. Wow, beautiful. All right, 
Okay, so this is pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the green. All you need is a light touch. Boy, it's just cutting through the whisker again like, like butter. Like a knife through hot, like a hot knife through butter. Wow, that's nice. Very efficient razor. But I think this oil has really increased the efficiency a great deal. All right, very nice. Okay, second pass done, let's rinse. Wow, that's a nice shave, and I do not need a third pass. That was fantastic. Really slick, really close, really nice and smooth. Wow, and that razor is very, very efficient. I mean, that's, that's a nice shave, that really is. All right. I'm gonna do two passes, two passes. I'm gonna do my two final rinses, one warm and one cold. Warm one to get some of this excess slickness off and the cold to um, close my pores, that sort of thing. Okay, so here's my uh, warm water rinse. Okay, gonna go over, switch over to cold water. All right, here we go, cold water rinse. Wow, very, very nice. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Really, really nice. Wow, nice. That's a, that's a close shave. That's a nice, nice close shave. I think that's, that's really, really close. I'm gonna get my Allen block here. This is my Shash, Shash Allen block. And we're gonna go ahead and run this under some cold water and then, uh, you know, work it around the face here, rub it around the face here and see what kind of feedback we get. Uh, and this is great because if you have any really small micro nicks, micro abrasions, little small nicks, um, or uh, irritation, that sort of thing, it'll, it'll, it'll close that. It'll knock down the irritation, it'll close up those little nicks. It has, has antiseptic properties and qualities. So here we go. Nice. Smooth for the most part. I got a couple of zings here and there. Got some zings right here. And it looks like I got a little zing here from a very, very little itty bitty. Looks like a little itty bitty nick that closed up with cold water, so I really don't count those. Uh, but uh, really, did a nice, nice job. Oh yeah. Just, I thought there was, yeah, nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, looks good. Nice, <laughs> really, really close and smooth. Yeah, uh, a little bit of uh, feedback there. Really very, very efficient. And um, use this once before. Uh, use this shave therapy system once before. So this is my second time out. Sometimes on camera, I hurry a little too much. I'm trying to get these videos down to about 18 minutes or so and not do as much editing as I can. So. I may have rushed myself a little bit, which is probably why I got 
you can't even see it. Just a, it's not even there anymore. But anyhow, gotta slow down a little bit and maybe do a little more, <laughs> a little more editing here and there. But uh, boy, nice, nice shave. I'm gonna let uh, the alum uh, set up a little bit, let it do its thing. I'm gonna mop up a little bit and I'll be back for the third step, which is the post shave oil, which uh, has got some nice kick to it. All right, I'll be right back, hang in. Okay, synthetic brushes just clean up so well. Look at that, that's just like 95% clean. Just, that's a fantastic little bit of, little bit, eh, that's fine. That's clean up great. These synthetic brushes clean up so well, they, they dry out so quickly, they retain a lot of water when you want them to. They're great, they're absolutely great. Okay, so step three. Post shave, and I'm gonna probably turn this upside down four times. Two, three, four, like that. That's more than enough. Okay. Oh yeah, I can, I can smell the peppermint there. Very calming, but a nice, peppermint is really nice. That fractionated coconut oil, I can feel that too. Um, big fan of coconut oil. Uh, a little bit here for upstairs. Great shave, really nice. This is, this is terrific. This is really, really a nice system. And it looks like, after two shaves, look what I have here in my post shave. See that? I mean, I have a lot left, and I'm putting about, I'm putting about four to five in my palm of the post shave because I use some up here. And this is my second shave. I didn't burn through a lot either. Uh, pre-shave, look at that. Look how much I have in the pre-shave. I mean, second shave, and it's, okay. Inter-shave, this looks like it's gonna last a long, long time. Love the pouch. Uh, this is great. This is something you can you can take with you. There's my pre-shave. There's my inner shave. There's my post-shave. Just take that, and you can throw that in your dot kit and travel with it. Use it at home. This is this is terrific. And I got a nice, really, really nice close. I mean, a really close shave. I think that Wilkinson sword blade was really that's that was sharp. That was a very very sharp blade. But uh, the thing is, is that uh, the, the razor, a little more aggressive than the DE89 or the uh, HD34C. I think it's probably a little more aggressive than the 3 out of 5 on the scale. Maybe 3.25, maybe 3.5, I don't know. It's up there, but boy, is this thing efficient. So, uh, you know what? This is a terrific, terrific razor, but this really, really helped the shave. I think uh, this razor and a Wilkinson sword blade with just Tabak uh, shaving soap, wow. You know what? Uh, for my skin, you know what? I think this oil really, really helped the shave a lot. Gave me protection, gave me a lot of slickness, gave me some really, really nice glide. The scent is beautiful. This peppermint scent here at the end with the coconut oil, terrific, terrific stuff. The Each one has a distinct scent. Um, what did I say the, the pre-shave had? Sunflower oil, olive oil, castor oil, eucalyptus, lime. That was what I smelled. The lime, that was the scent that came through. Uh, the the uh, intershave has lemon in it, lemon essential oil. So uh, those two were right in there. And I'm glad I used a Tabak because that even though that has an old barber shoe, old barber school scent, it didn't get in the way of this, which is what I wanted. I wanted to really, you know, get the scent from this because I think that's, you know, that's possibly part of the shave therapy as well as the scent, the aroma. Terrific, terrific stuff. Check this out, I'll have links below. Also, I have a brand new Amazon page. I'll have a link to that as well, where I have all the products that I have used and reviewed on this channel listed and grouped. So if you wanna find something from Vikings Blade, there's a Vikings Blade section. If you wanna find something from, say, Mercur, I got a Mercur section. If you wanna look at the shaving soaps I've used, there's a shaving soaps section. Same for Allen Blocks, shaving creams, 
and that sort of thing. And I'm adding more as I go along. So it's not yet complete uh, or completely filled, but uh, I'm getting there. But uh, there is quite a bit for you to comb through. So if you're interested in using any of those products and you don't, you know, you can't find the previous video to it, but you can remember the product name or the brand, just go right to that page and you'll find it there. And all the links will be there right to Amazon. So anything that I've used that is sold and listed on Amazon will be on that page. I'll have links to this as well, to uh, Global Shave and Sheldon Quinn, another really, really neat pro, uh, product. A home run, my friend. This is really, really nice. Something that I'm gonna travel with this and I'm gonna use this at home as well. This is really, really good stuff. All right, hey, thanks very, very much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please share, please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know your pre-shave and post-shave routines. Let me know what you do that's a little different from what I did here today. Really interested in knowing that. Uh, check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic trip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon. Okay, I'm back. You know, I took down my whole setup. I forgot to mention that uh, the information I received about the shave oils is that that post-shave oil will feel a little bit oily, but it will absorb it to your skin. And you know what? Uh, it didn't feel that oily to me. However, it did absorb and it really is calming the skin down and it feels great. It really does feel very, very good. Uh, so, okay, you know. <laughs> It's really, it was, it was a terrific trade, that really stuff. So if you do get some, know that that post shave might go on a little bit oily, but yes, it does absorb right in there and it leaves your skin feeling really soft and smooth.